This is Simon Romero reporting from Caracas, Venezuela for the New York Times. This 45-story office tower rising on this city's skyline was built in the early 1990s as a symbol of Venezuela's entrepreneurial ambitions. Now the building, known as La Torre de David, the Tower of David, has become a symbol of something else entirely. This tower is a perfect example of the more than 2,500 squatters now live in the unfinished skyscraper, one of Latin America's tallest buildings. There is no elevator, no air conditioning, no guardrails. Many floors lack windows and even walls. There was no kitchen, nothing of what you see there. This wall I built with my own hands. Jose Hernandez lives on the seventh floor with his wife and daughter. He works at a state-owned bank, yet he couldn't qualify for a loan himself to get an apartment. I started looking for a house, but the rents were very high, and I had no money to pay what they were asking. I felt frustrated, because I had a family, and whenever I went to ask for credit, no one would grant it. So several years ago, he joined the building invasion movement and moved into the Tower of David, one of dozens of abandoned buildings now occupied by squatters in downtown Caracas. Once one of Latin America's most modern cities, Caracas now suffers from a severe housing shortage. Private construction has ground to a halt for fear of government expropriation. Meanwhile, the government itself has built little housing for the poor. The tower has been owned by the state since 1994, when the company that built it collapsed in a banking crisis. The government has not evicted the squatters nor provided them with any services inside the tower. This planning official with the opposition-led municipal government can see the building from her office. The government lets the people go inside without any restriction, without any law, without any insurance of life, and the people live there without services. Oh, man. <laughs> With no help from the outside, squatters have organized themselves. They've jerry-rigged electricity and hoses to take running water as high as the 28th floor. Sentries with walkie-talkies guard the entrances. There is even a bodega on almost every floor. For some, the Tower of David is a welcome refuge from life on the streets. There are no gangs here. We live well here. It's a good place. There's a building coordinator who helps out and orients us. I have nothing to complain about. But for others, the tower is a symbol of disarray and poverty in a country endowed with some of the world's largest oil reserves. This is not what I dreamt of. I dreamt of a Venezuela with prosperity. With all the resources we have, we use them for politics, but not for creating the humanity that all Venezuelans need. 